So uh, I guess that's all for morphological operations. Uh, I'm just going to end the morphological operations by uh, listing various operations or various components of the image that can be extracted using morphological operations. So for example, we can use morphological operations for extracting boundaries. Uh, I'm going to show you one example of it in a bit. We can find connected components if there are any connected components present in the uh, image convex hulls we can find convex hull which are very important for object tracking and object recognition we can figure out the skeleton of the object which are once again very important to establish the shape and the form of the object which we are trying to figure out then region filling region filling is once again a very important algorithm and uh, uh, in the next lectures i'll rely on region filling to define certain algorithms as well and we can use morphological operations for thick thinning thickening and pruning so uh, you should go to your textbook and you should study that what are these operations how they can be easily implemented using any programming language of uh, uh, for example the boundary extraction what is boundary extraction if you uh, think a bit carefully you can easily understand that if you erode a certain image by a structuring element then you'll get an eroded version of the original object now if you subtract the eroded version from the original version what you are going to get you're going to get boundary of the original object which the erosion process eroded okay so this is the uh, mathematical equation for boundary extraction and we can easily see that how it is going to happen so if you erode this image this one using a structuring element what is going to happen it is going to shrink from all the sides it is going to shrink from these sides if you subtract the shrinked version from the original version you are going to get the portion that was shrinked by the erosion process and uh, by this statement you can easily figure out the answer to this question which i have written over here that what will be the effect of increasing the size of structuring element on the boundary so i guess you have figured it out let me spell it out for you the size of the structuring element will control the thickness of the boundary so if you use a larger size of the structuring element more erosion is going to happen and when you'll subtract the eroded version from the original version you are going to get a thickened border over here so this boundary will get thick like this okay so you get the idea that what is going to happen so this was i guess everything for morphological operations and i hope you have understood and once again i am recommending you guys to go through the textbook go through the link referenced links and do study these algorithms with more examples and different ways to implement these uh, algorithms using various programming languages 